my tube stick is cold. I'll nuke it. There you go, little Jimmy. Finally, can't do anything right around here. Nancy, where's my plate? Ah, I just sat down. Ah, I never want to do anything around here. Remember, <sighs> you're on your nutrition pills, Gerald. Ah, this gonna kill me, Nancy. I'll clue you in on what won't kill you. What kind of garbage is this? Aw, Mom and Dad, knock it off. Uh, now Jimmy, um, can't you believe it's already New Year's Eve? We're almost in a new decade. Aren't you excited, young lad? I mean, I guess. What do you mean, you guess? I mean, I just don't really see how the 60s could be any different from now. Come on, little Jimbo. That's the point. That's what's so exciting. Get with it, kid. The 50s are one of the best decades in this great nation we've ever had so far. We get this nice Levittown house, new car, and everything. And the 60s will just be better. But how are the 50s even a good decade? I mean, it's the 50s. Who cares? <laughs> what do you mean, how are the 50s good? Good golly, Jimmy. You're such a germ. Or Lauren, Rhonda, Nancy, whatever your name is, whatever. Not right now. You see, Jimmy, the answer to the question is real simple. Interstate highways were the best. Like me, I'm the best. Because they helped me become better. In interstate highways? Now that's right, Jimmy. Where else do you get to travel in your brand new car across state lines as fast as a train? In all these different states, you get to see all these great things on the best highways in the world. So you're telling me that the 50s are only good because of these interstate highway thingies? What do you mean only interstate highways? The best interstate highways in the world. Young man, I've never... <sighs> Who was that? This better be good. What are you doing here? Sir, why are you angry? Someone called me over here. Who called you over here? My horn has been working over a week. What do oh. you want? Oh, someone must have been one of them greaser kids. But since I'm here, can I just you in a tall glass of... Despicable. Cool it, Gerald. He's harmless anyway. And I sure wouldn't mind casting an eyeball in his direction. Nancy, get back into the kitchen. Make me some dinner. Get back into your spirit of influence. Wait, Dad, Dad why are you fighting with Mom? I mean, why is Mom talking back to you? Oh, yeah. Stop complaining about the fifties and stop asking all these stupid questions tonight. You've been disrespectful, disbehaved, you're, you've been cruising for a bruising all night. Get up to bed, now! Yeah, but I didn't even go to bed! Oh, I forgot to take off the hat. Not so fast there, Jimmy. You know, your parents were right. The 1950s were a fantastic decade. One truly that nobody will ever forget. You know, you remind me a lot of my dad. No, it's actually astounding that you'd notice all the innovations of the 1950s. Look at the dinner you just ate. Those hot dogs weren't around before the golden 50s. Neither was that TV dinner. Wait, why did you... What about those diet pills your father is taking? That beer gut just doesn't go away without a fight. Wait, so the food was different, but what else changed? You know what? No, no, no. I don't even really care anymore. You know what, Jimmy? Why don't you do me a favor? Go ahead and crank up the TV, shall you? Oh, but wait, not before a quick commercial break. Huh? New suburban single-family homes now selling in your local Levitan community. These stylish, modern-designed homes are built with extreme efficiency and include a wide range of colors. For only $9,000, you too can have your own single-family home with a yard, a finished kitchen, a two-way fireplace, a finished attic, and a washer and dryer. Plus, local shopping centers, recreation facilities, and brand new top-notch schools within your fingertips. Join the nearly 10 million new American homeowners and see what it's really like to live the American dream. Hold up, Jimmy. What's that you're reading? Dude, it's just my comic, man. Leave me alone. Well, little Jimmy, that will be worth a lot of money in a couple of decades. Uh, let's save that till a little later. Remember those glorious interstate highways I was talking about earlier? 
do get around on those fabulous highways. You know what, man? I'm done. Well, let's change that right now. The automobile was a gigantic part of the 1950s culture. People used to maneuver them across state lines along the glorious interstate highways, which are better than any other form in every capacity. Anyone who says otherwise is a goddamn communist. Now take a look at this car. This is the Chrysler El Dorado Biraz. Notice those non-aerodynamic fins, or the lack of seat belts. Pay close attention to what happens to this young lad. You know, he looks a lot like Annie. Well, you know the movie. <laughs> Oh, look at him frown now. Is it the hard knock life for you, Annie? Are you okay? You can't be too bad. I don't have a scratch on me. That was gruesome. Why'd I have to watch that? It's art, kid. Speaking of art, why don't you turn on that, uh, what's it called again? Oh, yes. The television. Ha ha ha. Oh yes, I've always had a thing for that Lucille Ball. If only she cast an eye on me. You know, man, I'm just, I'm so confused. This entire decade just it doesn't make any sense. Who wants to live in the 1950s? The 1950s? 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 Ah, uh, yes, you're right, little Jimmy. TV was also responsible for the growth of sports. Well... New housing developments too, but you've seen that already. Baseball in the 1950s was huge. And so was boxing. Strike one. Basketball, football, and wrestling. Darn, I just can't do this. Darn, I just can't. Strike two. I'm going to first. <coughs> But polio became a thing of the past in the 1950s, so did obsolete dental drills, and dental equipment saw a massive change in the 1950s, and well, you'll grow to appreciate this other one later on in life, Jimmy. This is the birth of the birth control pill. Basically, Jimbo, this will stop the babies from coming all the time. Oh, I gotcha, so that's what it is, but, but where, where, do, where, where do the babies even come from? Oh shoot, this... It wasn't even the script. Alex, what am I gonna tell him? What am I gonna I, tell him? I don't know, I don't know. Uh, uh, I, I'll just think of something here. Just give us five seconds or so. Okay, okay, we'll save that topic for another day. How about that, little Jimbo? Now, uh, what kind of music do you like to listen to? Well, American Bandstand, of course. Then let's take a trip to American Bandstand. We're going to hop in today, when things are popping A Philadelphia way, we're going to drop it On all the music they play on the bandstand Bandstand And now, for our next guest, Jerry Lee Lewis No way! It's Jerry Lee Lewis! You shake my nerves and you rattle my brain Too much love drives a man insane You broke my wheel, but what a thrill that was a long night. Thank goodness it's the 60s, man. Yeah.